I'm driving, huh? I don't know what to do. I tell the driver, you go in the ears, right? Center now to see what I have. I don't see the center now. I mean, you don't see the sense, right? If you put your hand outside us, for once, you will feel us real nice breezes out of you. Why would you feel the breeze when you can have AC in the car? Sure, right. It's in the Well, all I know is, right, I keep my window down. And plus, I read the brochure. All this, you know, all these trees and everything, all these forests and things, real important. Yeah, boy, I was reading that same, that same article, boy, and it's a, a quarry up by me, and I real mess up the river up by me, and it's a four quarries up by four? me, so, right, so I, I can imagine the damage they're doing up there. Them quarry men and them know what they're about, you know, they're making a real money. Yes. <laughs> real money. And you see a piece of land like this? I can clear up all them trees and build a nice big house, right? No more room, man. You see, I really bit nice up inside it. Cut down all them trees. I'm wasting my time up in the back here. Hey, but what's going on here? Woman, on you're crazy. You doing? I crazy. I in the bush. Exactly. What are you doing? But what are you doing out here? This is a blind corner. Where are they headed? You can see it's right center. It's right center and all our speed. We had to drive through with a bunch of bush. Shops and all they have no respect. None, none at all. Nothing at all. Woman, you see what you looking? Oh, I looking. Look like one of them garbage collectors get hold of. Oh my. <laughs> Who the jail is this? I will fix all this. All all you by the end of the day, all uh, Sean, you all I, I, I really trust this good woman. Good enough, but what was that way? No idea. People out here, whew, the you less way. Up in the bush, you know? and? Think about the scene, boy. Wait, there's a hot scene, boy. Wait, boy. Yeah, boy. I this bush, you know. Done. Yeah, it it's only like 10 minutes straight. 10 15 minutes tops, and we did. Honestly, real thing biting me in. Honestly, we could have our fat and bubble. Who oh, did you? Oh, Rick, these, why you pick this man to drive weed, right? What's that in your day? What the jail is this? Dan, Dan, what the hell is this? Dan, eh, watch, watch now, watch, 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 eh, 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 let me at least make your phone now, us. Who found the camera? I just want phone us. What? I just want the phone us. What the jail is this, boy? Come quite out here to get robbers. Very good, on you. So I mean, come up in the bush and check what. You were money, you see ya. Bad things got happened to me, but it's you know us. It's you, Jet. You tell. No blame, shouldn't anything. Now, what's the truth? You want some garbage, Jet? What kind of thing is that? I don't even have any service, right? Oz, let me check my phone out. Let me check my phone out. Oz, no service, Jet. I feel like I'm walking for Diddy Cell, Oz, and no phone service, Jet. What the jail is this, boy? As it's only 10 minutes away, like you go, I don't walk up the road by the centers, you don't have to hire this. A little 10 minutes walk? Yeah, boy. Pause and that's your father, can you know, Jordan? Hey, we finally reached where? Oh, thank God. Yeah, man. I'm not going to reach you a long time, man. And? Huh. And don't remind me what I can't see now, boy. It's your fault. Okay. How is my, how is we fault? You can't get in the bush. The fault is in the jump with the woman, you might not get hexed, you know? Yeah, you throw garbage at the woman, eh, dog? Yes, I remember that. Throw garbage at the woman. I want to see if I can get a phone call. Eh? Hey, right. Where I was on the road, I was waiting for you. Yeah, you don't believe what happened. What happened? Yeah, somebody teeth Sean Carter. What? Yes. Yeah, and Sean oh, going to use the phone. Gone. What, what happened to the what, what? Sean going to use her phone. Hey, it's a reception. What are you going to use phone for? Oh, Sean, it's a, it's a reception. It's a reception. Oh, okay, cool. So your car just gets stolen, and just... Yeah, good. Cute. For real, Matthew. It is it. Well, I mean, come with you. Yeah. What? I tell you. Yeah. We nearly bombed you too. I feel it's the Obi-Wan. I'm going to or something. I... For real. What kind of craziness is this? Because two men jump on the ground with cutlass and thing. And it wasn't dreaming, right? Nah. Oh, no, it's serious. serious, 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 dead serious. I'm still shaking. Well, alright, here what? Since we're done here, we'll just finish all this and then... Go home and sing, but you go ahead and make your phone call and see what yeah, you need to be done. Because we really need that transport to go back. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
name is Molly. I am the Poverty Interrogator Center. Hi Molly. Hi. Hi. And here we have Hi. my Hi. husband, Joanna. Hi. Well, it's fine to look at the phone, yeah? Oh my god, I have a lot. So this is our oldest mango tree on the compound. Mm. Uh, it's over 90 years old and it still produces a lot of fruits. Oh wow. So normally whatever we plant out on the compound, mangoes, oranges, whatever, it goes back on the table for our guests. Coffee okay. And all we don't own Like a kind of sustainable kind of thing. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Some of the um, animals and plants that you all have here, is it a vast variety of species or just specific things? We have a very vast variety of species. Oh, yeah, um, too. <laughs> we have wild animals, lots of wild animals. Things like possums and porcupines, um, wild animals and to keep protected, yes, we do have them. And here that's a protected, you can eat it. If I see an animal running there, I find it, you could run cook there. So miss, I can ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So like, what aspects of the, the biodiversity you're trying to conserve and like, you're successful doing it so far? Okay, one well, of the main things that I'm really targeting right now is the land. Mm -hmm. The amount of land that um, people are slashing and burning and getting like quarrying and stuff, everything being destroyed. Mm -hmm. What we are trying to do is to buy as much as we can. I know this is the quarrying when land. we're coming up. Yes, that's a big, big problem that we're having right now. But we have bought over 1,500 acres so far. You all money? And yes, oh. all money. All comes from the overnighting guests. We get a lot of large donations. So we're doing very, very well. Okay. And we intend to buy quite a few more in the future. That's cool. So we're keeping it as is, we're not putting up any buildings, we just want to keep it as is for future generations to know what is a rainforest and it won't all die away like that. That's cool. I'm looking at one soil if you have I have a question for you. Yes sir. Who cares? Well, what is this? Hi board. Thank you. What are some of the benefits of having conservation? Um, there's lots and lots of benefits. Uh, first of all, we have, because we have so much mass amount of land, we actually employ people from right around the area, so there's jobs coming in. Uh, because we don't own coffee and stuff, people are coming in and buying. Uh, we're protecting the animals, so you find the hunters who are trying to come in, they're getting a very hard time. So our mm -hmm. animals, everything is really, really flourishing up here. So talking about like the quarrying, right? You remember you were telling me how you all trying to get land, buying it back then. So when the quarrying, because when we was coming up, we see it. Yeah, so when major ones down there. yeah so when when that really start oh that started way back i think even before i was um let me see it over over 10 years now that started um mm -hmm. and it, it's not going to stop they told us it's not going to stop so it's something we just have to deal with we brought in everybody to help us but it's not going to stop and it has been affecting us um in the past so the visitor numbers and stuff yeah birds are dropping so it has been a great impact. Yes, and even when we conducted the same um, summer camp as I was telling you about, I mm -hmm. carried a group down. And instead of we hearing the actual bellbird, we were hearing the jackhammers. And people was like, is that a new bird? And we was like, no, that is the quarry. Mm -hmm. we were a little concerned. Then. With the loud explosion, the birds are getting confused. So they're actually starting to move away. They're going higher. So which birds is it? The bellbirds. OK. So they are starting to move away. A couple of years ago, you'd come and you'd see like seven bellbirds in one leg. Now you only have four. So it has dropped. So they're basically losing their home then? Yes, they're losing their home. That's like how you lose your cows. Is that a serious thing, you know? Yes. And now starting to see what you're talking about and this whole conversation, conservation. Yeah. And even with the quarrying, there's a big article in the newspaper I read today that they have stopped people from, a lot of people depend on the water in this rural area, just below the quarry and all the debris that's going now is very, very contaminated. There's a big article about it. So the fishes, now you're only getting catfishes, you're not getting all those nice pretty fishes you used to get anymore. And the people are losing their water supply as well. So it's really a huge thing. Mm. I know the feeling after losing a car. What, what are like when the legal processes, the quarries went through to, to get to set up a quarry? Well, they're all legal. Mm -hmm. um, most of them are government quarries, so all legal thing is passed through. So they are. Um, they're legit. Yeah, they're legit. Non-ethical, but. Non-ethical, but, but legit. legit. Yeah. 
you know, my outlook on this whole wildlife conservation is really changing. I have to thank you for this. Thank you for the tour, thank you for the enlightenment and everything. This is really, really nice. Very nice that you've changed your yeah. attitude towards conservation. Understand, I know how they're feeling, just how I lose my car. Understand how their habitat is affected. I didn't know that's number, seriously. I tell you this thing really important in Andre. Wait, wait, wait. Are you seeing this? Wait, wait. I thought I was getting robbed. Somebody here. Hey, boy. This guy come out from here. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. So just come out of here. Boop. Oh, is that crazy? Oh, well, let me get out of here first. Yeah, 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 the areas with the highest number of biodiversity is usually in the tropical regions such as the Western Amazon. In Trinidad, the Northern Range has the highest number of taxa. This is due to, among other reasons of course, to its time above water longer than the rest of Trinidad to the, during the Pliocene era. This allowed for more plant diversity to be established. The main factors that drive biodiversity loss and extinction include human activity such as population growth and poor land use management coupled with stochastic natural events. So to mitigate biodiversity loss, one should follow the hierarchy of avoidance, minimization and restoration, noting that restoration is always the last resort when dealing in conservation biodiversity. <laughs>